as a region we are isolated. The type of event that Hikarangi will present, it'll be multi-regional, so support in that essence won't be a helicopter turning up within 12 hours. We need to be resilient for a period of time. When the Hikarangi subduction zone inevitably does produce a large earthquake in the future, because it will. We don't know when, but it will at some point in the future, and we need to be ready for that and prepared for that. We have historical context that really demonstrates the region has had a tsunami. An immediate example was the, the 1947 tsunami caused a lot of damage up and around the Gisborne area, and those earthquakes have been related to a seamount that is currently subducting underneath the outer part of the subduction zone in that area. Wanu School were approached in terms of being part of the pilot group putting in the, the project. In essence, a physical rally point to start their journey as, as part of the evacuation. This is something that will happen. It's something you need to be planning for, and that plan needs to be known by the family, whānau and the community. Prepare your home, protect your whānau. Secure foundations, secure tall and heavy items, including furniture and pictures. Remove unsafe chimneys and make sure your insurance is up to date. In an earthquake, you need to drop, cover and hold. And if the earthquake is long or strong, get gone. Evacuate uphill and out of the tsunami zone. Every step counts.